Now we are going to talk about uh, safety and liveness properties. These are the properties that services should have. It is part of the specification of components. So, correctness will be always expressed in terms of safety and liveness properties. So, what is a safety property? A property that states basically that nothing bad should happen. That's a safety property. Whereas, a liveness property is a property that states that something good will eventually happen. So, here is an example for you who is studying this course, IE 2203. For us, we would like to ensure that you always satisfy a safety property, which is that you should never fail in the exam. Okay? So you should never fail in the exam because once you fail, it costs us money. Hmm? And in so that is safety. Liveness will be that you we want you always to eventually take the exam because if you take the exam, the university will get money hmm, when you pass the course. Here is another example in an informal way, which is the correctness of uh, traffic light in an intersection. So what would be safety property here? Safety property here will say that in this cross intersection, there'll never be, the two lights should nev never be green. So only one direction should have the green light. Whereas uh, the liveness would say that eventually every direction should get a green light. So safety property, safety and liveness is all that matters. So let us see now how we look formally to the definition of safety and liveness and how it is applied in distributed systems. First of all, what is a property? In our context, you will see first a property is a function that takes an execution. So you remember execution is a sequence of configuration events, configuration events, and it will always return true or false. A property is if the property is satisfied, it means it is a property satisfied for a certain execution. So a property is basically a predicate. Now, an interesting um, result is that any property of executions, which this is the important thing that we are interested in, can be expressed as a conjunction of safety property and liveness property. This result by Albern and Schneider that was um, published in 1985. And so you can express any property you would like to have as a safety and liveness property. So let us look now to um, safety property formally defined. To define safety, we are going first to define the notion of prefix of an execution. Prefix of an execution. So an execution E, for so you have an execution E, and a prefix is the first key configuration and events of E. Okay, So you take an execution, start with a configuration 0, and then event, event 1, leads to configuration 1, and then event 2, leads to configuration 2, and so on. And so, a prefix is just the first key configuration events. You c we can always abstract um, even uh, configuration and just talk about events. Hmm? So, if we just take the initial segment of an execution, that's what we call a prefix. So, it means that we cut off the tail. This is the tail. And we just take a finite beginning. Hmm? 
An extension of a prefix P is any execution that has P as a prefix. So here is a prefix. If we extend it in any way, this extend this part will be called the extension of the execution. So this is extension of the execution of E. Okay. So you know what is a prefix and what is an extension. So informally, we want to look now at um, a property, and we want to ask ourselves if this property is a safety of or not. So informally, a property P is a safety property if every execution E violating P, so we look to all bad execution, execution that violate P, will always have a bad event such that every execution started like E and behaving like E up to the bad event hmm, every execution will violate P regardless of what it does afterward so so let us look to an execution here where property P is false what we are saying, this execution E, oops, this execution E at a certain point will have a bad event. And any extension of this prefix hmm, will always make this property false. So P prime property false. Okay. Good. So what we are saying then is that formally a property P is a safety property if given any execution E such that P is false, there exists a prefix of E such that every extension of that prefix gives uh, an execution F that is false. Okay, very good. So let us look to examples of safety properties. And now we have a situation where we have a um, distributed system, that it's, uh, and we have components that send message. So we have point to point message communication. So what this component does, it basically send messages and somewhere also that's the output and then the indication will be um, it will send messages and then it will deliver messages okay you ask the component to send message and you ask it to deliver messages so, and here is a property that we would like to look at. A message sent is delivered at most once. And the question we would like to ask is this is a safety or property or not. Hmm? We just looked at execution and we looked to events. Here is a send event of message M. Here is a deliver event. of M. And let us see how we violate this. Uh, here is another deliver event of the same message again. Deliver of message M again. So this violates hmm, the execution. Therefore, we are violating this property. Therefore, we are talking about a safety property. Okay. So here is again, to say it one more time, take an execution where a message is delivered more than once, cut off the tail after the second delivery. After the second delivery. So until the second delivery, that's what we call the prefix. Huh? So any continuation or an extension 
will give an execution which will also violate the required property. So let us look now to liveness. A, a property P is a liveness property if given any prefix F of an execution, so we have a prefix of the execution, that's a prefix F of the execution, there is an extension, there is always an extension of that F for which P is true. This is an extension for which P is true. So somehow then a Leibniz property is a property where we can always make it true. That's what it meant by there is an extension for F um, of F for which P is true. Which also says as long as there is life, there is hope. Here is an example that we can show. Hmm? Again, for point to point uh, message communication. So, a message sent is delivered at least once. Okay? So, if we look here, we see that this is an execution. The message is sent, it is a send. We can always now, in this execution, either we can deliver the message, or if we have the execution at this point, for example, and no message is delivered, we can always extend it, and in that extension we can deliver the message. Okay? So that is a Leibniz property. Take a prefix of an execution. If prefix contains a delivery, so any extension will of course satisfy this. If the prefix does not contain the delivery, so we extend it so that it contains the, a delivery. So the prefix plus the extend part will satisfy P, will satisfy the liveness condition. Say it in one more time, if we look again to safety. So safety properties are properties that can be satisfied in infinite time. I mean, so you're never safe. We don't know. As long as it is until now in, in every prefix satisfied, we don't know that the whole execution will be satisfy this property or not. But what we can do with safety property is that we can violate it in finite time when bad things happen. And it's so it's often uh, involved where like never, at most one, cannot, and so on. Hmm? Sometimes it's also called partial correctness. The dual of this is Leibniz. So li Leibniz can be satisfied in finite time and only violated in infinite time. There's always hope. Okay. It often involves the word eventually or must. Eventually means at some unknown point in the future. Hmm? And for example, uh, if we look to just sequential program or look to termination of a program, that's a Leibniz property. Eventually, the program will halt. Okay. Here is uh, a summary of the two properties uh, visually, the safety and Leibniz. So if we look to an execution, and then if there is a prefix which bad things happen here, bad event, bad event, then all extension of these prefix will lead to false execution. So safety is false for an execution E if there exists a prefix such that all extensions are false. Liveness is the dual. 
So liveness can always again be made through in finite time. So liveness is true for an execution if for all prefixes, these are all possible prefixes, there exists an extension that is true. Take any prefix, we can always make it true. Take this is prefix A, we can always make it true. This is another prefix B, we can always make it make the property true. Okay. This gives you um, an overview of liveness and safety. So the last thing about safety and liveness, some properties are actually, just want to state it one more time, are not only safety or only liveness. They are composed of the two properties together. Here's an example. So the question we want is really every property is a liveness or safety? No. What about this property? Every message should be delivered exactly one time. Every message should be exa delivered exactly one time is actually composed of two property. Every message should be delivered at most one time and again every message should be delivered at least one time at most one time is safety whereas at least one time is liveness property. Thank you.